So, um, my name is Alexander Spasowski and I'm the curator of uh, Images on the Move. So, on this 14th uh, Biennale of Young Artists from Mediterranean, we kind of settled three programs or subcategories of um, the Images on the Move, which are so-called cinema part, which is an outdoor classic cinema screening in a location which is called Kruschumlia. Then uh, we have uh, um, one uh, another subcategory which is called video in box, which is going to happen in the location Museum of Cities Copy, and the third uh, subcategory is uh, video in space, which is also going to happen in the location Kruschmilia. Why subcategories and uh, why why this kind of strategy about? the way of creating. So the films I, we received and the selection we made is uh, made, uh, divided on the, on the way of experimental videos, videos which are working with space, uh, videos which are working, uh, which are having bigger intimacy as a context. We put them at the video in box where people and the audience can have more intimate relation with the videos and the big screening point like the cinema are videos which has or films which has more documentary uh, contexts and videos just simply videos which has to be shown on big screen so the selection uh, to put or to install the films in the subcategories is not really distinguishing so much the videos as context that they some of the videos which are made for video in box, they don't fit in the cinema. It's nothing that has to do with framing and limiting the films, but we kind of designed the subcategories that we have at least a little differences by the way of showing videos. Yeah, I, uh, to be honest, uh, this is a, such a big organization that the selection is made by country selection, so I haven't seen the movies, but we have some kind of technical info as their lens uh, of films, uh, format of films, a small synopsis about the video. So it's the, the, the category and the subcategory of, of the films and the self organ uh, the, and the organization of the movie program is made by those technical informations, which are kind of giving some kind of um, uh, frame about the works. What I want to mention is also that we also include, like we have 32, 33 films from different countries, uh, from 30 different countries, which are in the program. And we have also involved Off Program, which is already having the same potential as, I think, 35 films, which are coming. Uh, two of the program are coming from two very important festivals from Germany, as Overhausen Short Film Festival, which is one of the most famous festivals uh, for uh, short experimental movies and we have 100 minutes of presentation selection of videos from the Castle Film Festival from Germany. The rest is also Macedonian selection of films where we present in cooperation with the Film Fund from Skopje and we have some several program of films which are we are showing as selection from the Oberhausen Film Festival and from the Berlin Film Academy. This is the off program which will be presented and in the off program we have one interesting night which is so called mute film like films where we mute the sound and we have just like jam session band which is going to make the sound live. It's made on the principle of calculation if we want to have three hours program we take the films which fits in this three hours block and that's how we fit in the program. Unfortunately, because it's such a big organization, uh, we didn't have the possibility to watch uh, most of the films. First of all, uh, I, I think that the Biennale is a very, very good test, first of all, for the country, the home country, which is uh, offering the organization to organize such a big Biennale which I suppose will not be the last 
chance, but it's the, one of the first chances to make such a big Biennial, which is a great test for the country to see what we can do and we, what we can't do, which will give us a chance to uh, repair some things in the future and bring some uh, product, which I, I see the Biennial as a very big product where we can just lift up the, the con creative consciousness that people have completely different have completely different possibilities and re and watching different relations of uh, European biennials which are presenting art on a, on a high level and um, of course opening the consciousness of the audience and uh, making a completely different level of criticism about art maybe also lifting up the newspapers which are pretty lazy here about talking about art and giving criticism about that so it's completely positive to have something like this because it's a very big connection and uh, chase of different organizations which has to come in on a very homogenic way which will definitely bring some experiences and i find fantastic to have art happenings in east europe especially balkan because uh, that will be the only chance to lift up the culture because the Balkan and the East European culture which is very strong and potential part and region of Europe which has lots of important happenings in culture definitely needs this because we have also lots of kitsch in the society which is happening which we have to kill it on this way.